Well, here's an important story for anyone who has WestJet dollars in their account. That credit, not even as good as a gift card. For more on that, let's go to Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver. And Tyler, that is a ruling from B.C. Supreme Court. Yeah, the judge was very clear in this recent ruling that these credits that you may have been issued over a canceled flight or lost luggage, well, it functions like store credits. Uh, that's what WestJet has been arguing and the judge agrees with. This is not functioning like uh, prepaid gift cards or even prepaid credit, according to the ruling here. And the hard expiry date is one year, whereas gift cards, well, those don't actually expire. So this case was brought to court because a customer, well, they did not use all of their credits within one year and doesn't look like they're going to be able to do that now anyway. So look, if you had a canceled flight during the pandemic, a lot of uncertainty there, I take a look at when those credits expire because it might soon be too late to use them. Mm, interesting. OK, read the fine print, if you will. And from flying people to flying prices, inflation hitting Canadians very, very hard. And a lot of people are struggling to even pay their bills right now. Yeah, we have a new report from CIBC revealing that 68 percent of Canadian debt holders are concerned about whether they're going to be able to pay their everyday living expenses and bills. And this might soon be exasperated as we have Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklem. He came out last week and said he will, quote unquote, forcefully, if needed, raise hikes even further than where they are at this moment. We could be seeing hikes. Uh, we sh could be seeing rates uh, uh, as high as 3% by this fall. And what that would do then, even if you get a hold of inflation, that's the goal, well, then you are putting the squeeze on a lot of people with mortgages as well. So it's really kind of a lose-lose situation for the economy. Just no simple solution out of the current conditions that we're facing right now, but not just here in Canada, but globally mm -hmm. too. What would forcefully, if needed, mean? Well, so we've had rate hikes going up, you know, uh, five, uh, 50 basis points, and that could be going on in a continuous basis rather right. than just 25 basis points, which would be kind of unprecedented uh, for the last uh, couple decades here in Canada. Yeah, forceful, no doubt. All right, Tyler Orton, Business in Vancouver. Happy Monday. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Paul.